The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. In the previous example, we found that the linear function below represents the relationship between x, the time in seconds, and a of x, the altitude above sea level in meters of a cable car as it climbs up a hill in San Francisco. Graph the linear function and explain the meaning of the slope and y-intercept. To graph the linear function, let's start by setting up a coordinate system. Since x represents the time in seconds, we label our x-axis time in seconds. And since a of x represents the altitude of the cable car in meters, we label our a of x axis altitude of cable car in meters. Next, remember that a of x equals 5 6 x plus 4 can be thought of as y equals 5 6 x plus 4 so that we can use y equals mx plus b, or slope-intercept form, to graph the line. We can see that the value of m, or the slope, is 5 over 6, and the value of b, or the y-intercept, is 4. So to graph the line, we start with our y-intercept of 4, which is 4 units up on the y-axis, and label this point A. From here, we take our slope of 5 over 6, which means we rise 5 and run 6, and plot a second point, which we label as point B. And connecting our points with a line, we have the graph of the linear function A of x equals 5 6 x plus 4. Next, we're asked to explain the meaning of the slope and y-intercept. To explain the meaning of the slope, we can see from the graph that a slope of 5 over 6 means that the cable car rises 5 meters every 6 seconds, or 5 sixth meters, 0 0.83 meters, per second. In other words, for every second that goes by, the altitude of the cable car increases by 0 0.83 meters. To explain the meaning of the y-intercept, notice that the y-intercept has the coordinates 0, 4. In other words, when x, the time, is 0 seconds, then y, the altitude above sea level, is 4 meters. So, when no time has passed, the altitude of the cable car is 4 meters. Or, stated another way, the cable car is 4 meters above sea level when it starts climbing the hill. So, a y-intercept of 4 means that the bottom of the hill, where the cable car starts, is 4 meters above sea level.